Praxair has been advancing air separation technologies for more than a century. Our highest volume products are elements of the air we breathe. Air is made up of different molecules. 78% of air is nitrogen, 21% is oxygen, and the remaining 1% is mostly argon, with traces of neon, krypton, and xenon. The air separation process is based on the fact that the components of air change from a liquid to a gas at different temperatures, or boiling points. We chill the air until it partially liquefies, then by controlling temperature and pressure, we select which elements become gaseous or liquid, permitting each element to be drawn off separately. There are several steps in the process. First, the air undergoes filtration to remove any dust or pollen. It is then compressed. The compressed air is fed into a purification unit where moisture, carbon dioxide, and hydrocarbons are removed. The air is then directed to a cold box where it is cooled to about minus 173 degrees Celsius. This is where the air starts to become a liquid. The air is then sent to a distillation column where a process called fractional distillation takes place. The chilled air is introduced at the bottom of the chamber and as it rises in the column and cools, the oxygen condenses and falls down the column in liquid form. Here we see some of the gasified nitrogen rising to the top of the chamber to be drawn off. The liquid air at the bottom of the chamber is now more concentrated with oxygen. This liquid is piped to the upper part of the column system for further separation. In the upper chamber, the process repeats, with the remaining nitrogen gas boiling free and captured at the top of the column at temperatures as cold as negative 196 degrees Celsius, while gaseous argon and oxygen can be withdrawn above the remaining liquid oxygen for further separation in an argon refinery. The liquid oxygen is drawn off from the bottom of the chamber. Oxygen can be used by hospitals or steel mills. Nitrogen is used to freeze foods or to make chemical plant piping safe. And argon is used in welding and metals production. These are just a few of the ways air separation is making the planet more productive.